Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase, Weekend Showcase. We did this last month to start off September. We're going to do it again here in October. We call it the Lamley Challenge. If you like it, let's keep running with it. We'll do it in October, and I'll keep doing it every month, first weekend of the month. If you guys would like me to, I would like to. I think it's kind of fun. I'll take a, uh, some pieces from my collection with a theme. That theme today is pretty obvious. I'll show them. And then you do the same. Take that Lamley Challenge hashtag, take it to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you name it. Show me pieces of your collection along the same theme, and let's have fun with it. You can do videos, you could do TikToks, Reels, uh, Instagram posts, photographs, you name it. We'll do it. Today, it's the Datsun 510 wagon. I mean, is that, I mean, that's just Hot Wheels red meat. That's die cast red meat. One of the most popular Hot Wheels castings of the last, what, 10 plus years. Uh, it is an event when it gets released. They sell for crazy amounts, some of them at least, on the secondary market. And I'm a fan. I've been a fan since the beginning. I've always said that uh, Lamley almost, uh, in some ways, kind of cut its teeth with the Datsun wagon. I was showcasing this original Boulevard version way back when, and it became kind of a legendary car because it was hard to find, so on and so forth. One of Junamai's classics, and it's remained as such... Junamai's taking the 510 wagon with him and with his Kaido House brand. He's done a lot of Kaido House uh, customs and he's moving the wagon, a special kind of, uh, what is it, a, a drag race pro touring uh, wagon to Mini GT. We're all excited to see as that develops. Uh, nonetheless, it has been kind of a hallmark um, for so many uh, for so many years in the diecast world. Well, one of the reasons that inspired me to do this, dis- despite the Lamley Challenge, is this Nightburners 5-pack. Just appearing in stores now. I'm going to open it up right now. Dotson Wagon, we will uh, just, I'm going to move it into over here into the pile of Dotson Wagons amongst its, because I'm doing uh, worst to best today. So I'm going to put it in its spot and let's get to it. So here's what I'm going to do. This challenge, if you want to show your favorite 510 Wagons as part of the, Lam- of part of the Lamley Challenge, you can. If you want to um, just show some of your favorite 510 Wagons, whether they're Hot Wheels or some other brand, you can do that too. There's no rules to the Lamley Challenge. The only rule that this time it's the Datsun 510 wagon is the theme. I have ranked them. How many releases? 23 releases since it was first unveiled in 2013, I believe, with Boulevard. And uh, we're going to rank them from what I consider worst to best. Some of you will very much disagree with me on some of these. You might agree with me on others, but I want you to express your opinion. And I hope you disagree and I hope you let me know. Let's go. Starting from the worst, moving to the best. I'm going to do my best to describe why I ranked them this way. I'll say this first off. I'm a big fan of the 510 wagon, so none of these I'd like dislike, right? But there's just some I like more than others. And my criteria, there's no criteria. It's just what I like from worst to best. So, you know, I, maybe there's a deco I liked or didn't like. Maybe there's a significance that uh, makes it more uh, more likable for me. I'm just going to talk about it, and here is what I guess I consider number 23 the worst. Is this special 51st anniversary, what did they call this one, gray and gold or something like that? Um, it's, I don't, I actually like plain wagons, but um, this one is just drab. Gold interior is fine, I just think it's kind of a drab car. There's just something about it that makes me go, meh. And that's all I can say about that one. That is number 23. Number 22. Here's the first surprise. It is the Hot Wheels Legends uh, exclusive. The first exclusive done in the Super Treasure Hunt deco. Uh, We'll get to the Super Treasure Hunt later, as you can imagine. And what I love about this is that that Hot Wheels is taking very popular, famous treasure hunts. They've done the uh, Gasser and the Silverado Sense. And redone them in different colors, right? And that's really kind of cool, except this color is awful. Wheels are cool. Uh, Junamai's Zero Deco, which has become iconic, is is cool. But there's just something about this, like compared to the Super Treasure Hunt, just it's kind of a whatever. Happy to have it. Don't much care for it. That's number 22. I might get the, the numbers wrong here, but I believe we're going into 21 there's my number 21. It is the second of the convention. This is the 32nd convention exclusive um, in Hot Wheels Racing Deco. 
Um, I, again, as I'm trying to rank these, it was just hard to, I like this one better than others. And there were, I liked a lot of others better than this one. And I think it's because I don't like the wheels on this one. I don't think, I mean, we'll see the five spokes later on some other versions. And I don't like the racing livery per se on the wagon. Um, that's one of my observations too, is like as much as popular as the wagon is, a lot of the decos have been kind of these racing styles that are fine and it makes sense, but you'd like to see them kind of move in some different directions. And I think this racing one, uh, while it looks nice, I think it's just a little drab. And so going along those lines, there's my number 20. It is the Hot Wheels Salon, right? The Salon, the ex convention exclusive. I think it was Mexico and Brazil. Same thing. It's just that racing deco, which is fine. You can see there's a BRE kind of theme to it, like a kind of a inspiration with the Hot Wheels deco. I like the colors better on this one, just kind of the brighter colors. I like the wheels better on this one by a mile. The four spokes obviously will look really nice on the Datsun 510 wagon. Um, but, you know, just it is what it is. And uh, not as exciting. I think it's 2017, hence the number 17 on it. Uh, not ex as excited about that one. Moving into the teens. That was number 20. This is number 19. I actually put up an Instagram post asking for you guys to give me your best and worst. And they were all over the place. A lot of people didn't like the JNC Surf Patrol. They called that their worst. And I get why people were saying it, but no one mentioned the Zamac. They mentioned the regular one. We'll get to that one. I like the regular one better than the Zamac. As, as much of a fan of the Zamac as I am, the colors on this are bleh. Sorry, excuse me. Just had to uh, kind of got overwhelmed there. Um, I like Zamax a ton. I don't like the yellow windows on this one. I don't like the yellow wheels on this one. And I'm not real keen on the orange and yellow uh, combination here. I love orange and yellow. I like that kind of 70s vibe. This is a 1971 Datsun, but eh. all right, that was number 19. Number 18, I think I'm going to get some disagreements on this one. I think I'm going to get some major disagreements on this one. The number 18, and I like this car, but it did fall on 18 because there's 17 others I like better. Whoa! It is the car culture. Very first Japan Historics mix. The very first mix of car culture. It is the only time the 510 wagon has shown up in car culture outside of the uh, diorama. We'll get to that later. But in terms of just standard car culture releases. And it's an Advan livery. Advan is the quintessential livery. We all love it. I love it. I've talked about how awesome it is. But this one is not in that Advan livery. If it were, you'd have all these red stripes in the back and you'd have the Advan on the side. But this one's a mess. I like it. I love the color combination. The wheels may be the best wheels on any 510 wagon we've got, honestly. Um, it's kind of that dark with the red lip. It's really, really cool. But this one falls into the low teens because of what it could have been. It isn't what it should be. It's what it could have been. And while it looks good and it's a good color combination, they've done some black models that will come later that I think are better. This one falls towards the back because it's just kind of a bit of a disappointment. That was number 18, right? 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. There's that JNC Surf Patrol that so many of you are not fond of. I'll put this one up higher than the Zamac because... I like the theme. Why not have kind of a surf-themed uh, Datsun wagon? It makes sense. You know, the Datsun wagon was never a cool car. Uh, it's kind of become a cool car in a way, but it was still a bit of that kind of grocery getter thing that would have been made cool in a surf theme. So I like this, and I really like the color combination. I can do without the red wheels, but I like the colors on this one a ton, so it falls into number 17. I think we're off camera, right? Let's keep uh, moving. Number 16. There's an icon. Coming in, there's just better versions. Now, we're getting into this Junamai Deco, and I like the Junamai Deco. He has made it run, run, run the number zero. Um, obviously, he had this going with his wagon way back when, in I think 2012 or 13. 
um, when he was uh, showing his wagon on uh, at JCCS and whatnot. There's been many iterations of the actual Junamai wagon, and if you don't know who Junamai is, I think most of you do. If you don't, he was a designer at Hot Wheels. He's since moved on, and he's been doing his own thing, Kaido House, and he's been working with Mini GT, um, doing his own customs, and then doing the Mini GT cars. Um, and we've seen this deco come go with him, right? It's been on the uh, Mini GT uh, 510, and I think we're going to see it on the wagon, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Hasn't he shown some? Anyway. Um, I'd imagine we will because we see it on most things he does. So, like the deco, like the car, like it in red, like the wheels, like everything about it. There's just cars I like better. So now we're kind of moving into that, man, what am I going to do with these cars because I like them so much. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll make some comments. All right, now we have a tie. For 15, 14, and 13, this will make a lot of sense. 15, just a tie for what it, would this be like? 14, 13 for 13th? I don't know. It's the Momo cars. How do you separate the Momo 510 wagons from a couple of years ago? We had the first issue in red, right? Then it was recolored in black in that iconic Momo deco. And then there was the Kroger exclusive in yellow. You can see the Kaido House branding on this one. JNC branding on this one, which show up on a lot of these cars, is the JNC branding, uh, Japanese nostalgic car. I don't know how to... Uh, I don't know how to differentiate, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to put them all together. I'm going to call it a tie, and I'm going to move on. So now I'm going to have to recount. It's all basic math. We're on number 12, the 12th best. Dotson 510 wagon. Again, I think I'll get some disagreements because some people don't like this version, but it is the mystery car. Second mystery car. There were two mystery foil bag mystery cars. This is the second Kind of done in a worn-out racing livery, and I dig this one, only because the theme works. I like the wheels on it. I even like the mismatch wheels. It almost has a demolition derby kind of look to it uh, with the worn-out deco. And there's just something about it. It just brings a little more personality to a car that I think needs to have, either needs to be totally plain like a full grocery getter or have some real personality. It almost can't be as sporty as other cars are because it doesn't totally fit um you just gotta have some fun with this one you'll see that theme show up later um again and i'm not consistent in my descriptions all i can do is rank them and tell you why because i'll say oh i like i don't like racing liveries and then a racing livery will show up later see this is so unscientific but it's fun right and i hope you guys do the same there's my number 11 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. i got it right so we're getting into the top 10 so just out of the top 10 is another five-pack version. This one, I don't think this was Nightburners. This was Speed uh, Speed Blur, I think is what it was called. Known by Speed Blur is known because it has the gray wheels. Love the uh, lace style gold wheels on this one. I gave this one a high ranking because I think this is leeway. The designer having a ton of fun, and I like this kind of topo topographic. Am I saying this right? Map style with the Japanese Hot Wheels logo, with the number 71, and then, of course, the blank roundel with the gray wheels and the gold. I just think this one, Kaido House on the back, I just think this one's cool. Your 10th best. Man, I'm already rethinking this one, but I put it number 10, the very cool Moon Eyes Surf Rod. The, the uh, surfing theme is back. There are three, well, we, the Zamac, the JNC Surf Patrol, and then this one. There's one other surf theme uh, that will show up later. Um, this surf rod that was Japanese, uh, the Japan Convention exclusive. I love this as a work of art. The pinstriping style on the side, on the top, and I'm already thinking it should have been in the top five. But this is how I did it, and obviously I can change things, and maybe when I rank these a couple years from now, I'll uh, be completely different because as I'm looking at this, I'm going, John, that was wrong. You should probably put that at number five. But it is what it is. In this particular case, it is number 10. Number nine. This, I think, was the 2015 release of the Datsun 510 wagon in, in yellow. Here's a bit. Here's a kind of a racing deco. JCCS logo, JNC logo, um, JDM Legends logo on this one, Datsun logo on the back. This one just... This one to me looks like maybe what a Datsun 510 wagon back in the day would look like with a racing deco on it. Um, not exactly, but close. And um, I like the yellow on this one. Um, 
and I just think that the color combination with the with the uh, racing deco that it's got really works and I put that at number nine number eight again one that I might disagree with and we'll have this debate because we have a couple of versions of Junamai's actual wagon at number eight I did the diorama version there's your proper color for Junamai's wagon there's your proper deco for Junamai's wagon the four spokes are more in line now granted the casting itself when june did it they didn't have small wheels for him to use i think if he would have redone this casting now he would have uh, used the smaller wheels and done smaller wheel wells for this one uh, but back you know when he designed it he had to go with this size of wheels so this one is the most accurate when it comes to june's car and for that reason this one should always get a lot of attention should always be up there and i have it as my number eight car um you know, the first version, the Boulevard version, was based on his, you know, red wheels with the kind of olive green color. This one is more accurate with the Deco, uh, the Japanese nostalgia car. This one, if you go back to uh, look up on like J on JNC or something and look, I think it was 2013 or 2012, um, JCCS. This is the car that was there. And for that reason, I think it's awesome. Um, I just think there's some others I like a little better. And in terms of Junamai's car... The uh, Boulevard obviously hasn't shown up yet, but it will. June's Deco shows up again, and there it is. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe this was a number one for many, many of you. It is the 2014 Super Treasure Hunt. The icon of iconic Datsun 510 wagons, in my view. Even as, as popular as the Boulevard is, as desirable as it is, as desirable as some of the others that we'll get to, uh, this one remains just one of those iconic, uh, I don't know, I just think if you're going to have one 510 wagon, this is probably the one to have. Um, I'd argue the Boulevard might be, might be just slightly ahead of it, but this one became a deal when it was released and i remember the just the mayhem to find this super treasure hunt i actually pulled one out of a kmart case and then i found two or three i can't remember if it was two or three at a target once all um they uh they brought out cases they were bringing out cases and i happened to be at the right time and i opened them and i pulled supers from each case and i think it might have been just two cases number six here it is. I love this deco on the five pack, the recent Nightburners five pack model. Now it's our chance to look at it. This is another Leeway classic. He's gone with this matte tan. He's gone with this cherry blossom look on the side, which makes tons of sense. The uh, logo shows up on the top with this racing stripe. And again, is it totally realistic? No. Is it cool? abso freaking lootly I love this. Just outside of the top five at number six, but I think the deco on this one, it's just like the uh, the other one with the mapping on it. It's cool, it's stylish, it's stylish, and it just kind of fits like the 510 being what the 510 is. And it's clean too. I like the fact that this one is clean. Um, we'll be kind of running with that as we kind of go into the top five. All right, you ready for them? We've already done the June Diorama model. We've already done the Super Treasure Hunt. We've already done um, the car culture. So what's in the top five? Well, I mentioned I really like the yellow number 71 from 2015. I like the Kmart black version even better. Dig in the 510 in black a lot. And here's that racing style back. But I like this kind of just like a cream color with this metallic green and so all the decos the same, J JDM Legends, JCCS, JNC, Dotson, all there. But this one with the grayed out uh, OH5 wheels, the black paint, and that metallic green, it wins for me. I really like this one. In terms, as far as the racing Dotsons go, this one, this one takes it for me. So I'm going to make that number five. Put it right here. Okay, number four, you ready? Clean, 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 absolutely beautiful. It is, boom, the first Datsun 510 convention model. Not only the first Datsun 510 wagon, right, but it was also the first of this deco. And there's a trio where we saw the, um, 
the 510 coupe take get it here a couple was it, a couple conventions ago and now the 240z is going to sport the same deco um in this upcoming convention that's happening this week right so it's a good time to be showing this one love the bre uh inspired stripes on the side and i love that it's done clean I, it's like i said dotson's in black work really well the matching wheels to the stripes i love it's obviously skyrocketed in value. Um, this is the one I bought. I even, when I opened it, when I got it at the convention, I was later, I noticed that the window's sagging a little bit in the back, but that's okay with me. Um, I just really, really like this model. Um, and it is the number four. All right. Have you done the process of elimination trying to figure out the top three? And I think you'll be surprised... Number one, maybe not, but I think you'll be surprised with my top three. I mentioned I like the Datsuns. It's a wagon. It's a car that was like that did not breed excitement back in the '70s when it was when it was driving on the roads here in the U.S. I don't think it was in Japan. I mean, maybe it was in Japan, but it just wasn't what you know the 240Z or some other cool cars were. Um, it was a wagon. So if you're going to do replicas of it, do it playfully, do it fun, or do it clean. That's what I think the top three. Uh, Datsun 510 wagons for me are number three. You ready? 50th anniversary. I said do it clean. This is clean. It has the Datsun logo on the side. It's got a simple stripe along the top. 50th logo because that's what they had to do. It's got the chrome four spokes. This model of all the premium 510 wagons, this is your, uh, this is your peg warmer. Um, I one time walked into a Kroger store, uh, called city market, um, uh, and found, I think 50 of them in a bin, 50 of these five tens. Um, they just didn't sell. I, I think that 50th anniversary set, there were some cars that just weren't generating the, uh, the buzz that maybe others did. But if you start looking back on the five ten wagons, you go, this one's actually maybe the, this might be. The best looking 510 wagon that Hot Wheels has done. I like the bright blue. I like the, the clean stripes. It's not necessarily racing. And I like the Datsun along the side with the chrome five, four spokes. It's just, and you get premium. So you get the front and the rear detailing. I just think it's clean. I think it's cool. And I think it's the best looking version of the, uh, of the 510 wagon, especially in premium. And that comes in at number three. You ready for number Two. I think this will surprise a few people. The number two Datsun 510 wagon is the first mystery car. I said plain or, pl plain or playful. That's what I want in a Datsun 510 wagon. This is playful. This is the third, what I would say, this is the other version that has kind of more of a surf motif. Not necessarily surfboards on the deco, but it has kind of a Brazil... Um, flowery, playful, on the beach deco. Um, again, Leeway, I'm sure, did this one. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to look it up. But I love the flower pattern on this one. I love it from the top to the sides. It's got the number one racing thing. I think this was like the, this was the, like the mystery, like the number one mystery. Like it was the harder one to get. I don't remember. But I just think it's so good looking. I love the color on it. It kind of matches the first cool combi, if you remember. And I really like that version of it. So, yeah, that's my number two. And you know what number one will be. I've already shown it. I'll show it again. I don't know how this can be passed. It is the original, the OG 510 wagon. It is the Boulevard from 2013. It is a legend in and of itself. June surprised all of us. In 2012, he went to JCCS. He brought his wagon. He parked it in front of the JNC tent. And not only was that a really, really cool car and just kind of like, you know, you're thinking Japanese, cool Japanese cars. And all of a sudden he pulls in in a Datsun 510 wagon, which he'd shown before, obviously. There have been articles written about it and stuff. But there in the windshield was the first prototype or the early FEP of this car. And I remember the buzz, buzz, buzz that that generated that like, wait, Hot Wheels is doing a wagon? A 510 wagon? I mean, what a thrill it was, what a surprise it was. And it wouldn't be as surprising now, right? But some of these cars really surprised you. And back then, Hot Wheels doing a 510 wagon was 
just didn't make any sense, but it was just super cool. And everyone got excited about it. Um, I shared it. A lot of people shared it. Uh, J and C shared it. And then we just waited for it to be released. It got to Hobby. This was, you know, this was uh, September, October when it was unveiled at JCCS. And then the first uh, Boulevard version showed up in January the next year at Hobby, some at Walmart, some at Toys R Us, but very few, and then it vanished. All the big box stores decided not to carry Boulevard anymore. There's a long story there. And it didn't show up anywhere else. You could not find it. Hobbies had it. And then it showed up in, not kidding, a full year later. Um, I was on my way to the next JCCS when I got word that they were showing up at TJ Maxx stores. And I went from St. George, Utah, all the way to California, stopped at, into L.A., stopped at every TJ Maxx I could, and was finding a ton of them, like two or three, and I was picking them up because I was, I was just, I wanted this casting so bad. And, uh, yeah, it's the original horde. I haven't done a lot of hordes. I did the, <laughs> that was the original horde. I ended up, I think, 20 plus of them. Um, and that was the way to get it, and it's still, you know, become, you know, the icon that it is. I'm rambling on it, but I just love this casting. Obviously, I think June would have put the four spokes had they exist back then, but he went with the five spokes, and I just still love this plain version of the Datsun 510 wagon. You'll never beat it. You'll never beat it. There you go. 30 minutes of Datsun 510 wagon in the books. That's the Lamley Challenge. I want to see it Instagram, TikTok, and here on YouTube. You show me your collection, whatever you want. Your favorite 510 wagons, your least favorite 510 wagons, 510 wagons from other brands, you name it. I don't care. I want to see it. Tag me. Use the Lamley Challenge hashtag, and let's do it. And then tell me how wrong I am in my rankings. Thanks, everybody. Bye.